Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Jason and you're tuned into I Speak Geek. So guys, this is actually a special occasion for me. This is my six month anniversary of being on YouTube. And what got me started on YouTube is I wanted to talk about tech because I love tech. And the first item that I spoke about was the Keychron uh, K4 keyboard. And now I need a new keyboard just for the workflow that I have. Um, the K4 is still great, but there's certain buttons that I need that are on the K1 V4, like the print screen insert. Um, those are some of the keys that I use quite faithfully. And whenever I'm working, I still look for those keys. Of course, there's other ways for me to do it, but it would be a lot easier if it was on the particular keyboard that I use. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that keyboard. I might do a giveaway in my next video. Stay tuned for more uh, information, but I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this and give you my first impressions of what this keyboard is and how it is laid out and how it actually stands up to the K4. So this, again, this is the Keychron K1 V4, codenamed the N2. So this is actually a low profile Gatron blue switches. And I wanna see if it still has that tactile feel and the clickety clankiness of a normal full size keyboard instead of that low profile uh, keyboard that's in front of me. So without further ado, let's unbox this and see how it is. From DHL, the box was a little bit beat up. I hope nothing is damaged, but let's open it up. All right, well, tech to covering. Yes. All right, so this is an aluminum frame. Get some documentation in here. A little cable, USB-C. Uh, it's not as nice as the braided cable. A key puller, some extra keys. I'll go ahead and put that to the side. So. All right, let's, it still has that, that clicky noise that I like so much. It's definitely a decent amount of key travel. And now we got a full keypad. We got the insert home page up, delete end button. And oh, they got a dedicated button for Siri right here. And brightness for the keyboard, a dedicated screenshot button. So with this one, uh, they have, you know, lights for the battery, Bluetooth, uh, and other keys as well. I know one of the biggest gripes that I had with like the K4 was the caps lock button, and it didn't have a dedicated light uh, whenever it was on. So they actually put one here on the uh, K1 V4. So, and then there's a light if you're using Mac or Windows. So that's actually a nice added touch. Um, I wonder if it has any juice in it. Let me go ahead and turn it on and see if it lights up. Okay, so it, it has some juice. And of course you can see the RGB lights, uh, it's lighting up, great. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and hook this up to my computer, play around with it, and then I'll go ahead and give you my full review on this keyboard. So until next time, guys, thank you for tuning in. This is Jason, and you've just been watching I Speak Geek.